Mr. President, Commissioner, the recent bilateral summit gave much hope that this year will bring the conclusion of the association agreement. As said by President Van Rompuy, this is the most advanced agreement of its kind to be negotiated by the European Union. This clearly illustrates our firm commitment towards deepening the economic and political relations with Ukraine. At the same time, the EU has to stand by its values and needs to be sure that its closest partners follow the same line. Among the current shortcomings, Ukraine needs to work hard to reform its election laws, implement economic reforms, as well as eliminate the system of selective justice. Alarmingly, we have witnessed the use of political motivation in several high-profile cases in Ukraine, including the ones of Yulia Tymoshenko and Yuri Lutsenko. The judicial system must comply with the principle of separation of powers and must stand apart from politics. Recent news about stripping the parliamentary seat of Sergei Vlasenko, who is the lead defender of Yulia Tymoshenko, will not benefit this cause. I believe that tightening the bones, bonds with the European Union will help solve these issues. But the agreement is achievable only with a strong political commitment from the Ukrainian side. Ukraine should not stay lingering between the EU and the Russian-led custom union. There needs to be a clear choice. The Ukrainian leadership should see the strategic and economic benefits in sharing the common European values instead of being in the same boat with Putin, Lukashenko or Nazarbayev. At the same time, Europe must do everything in order to keep the door open for Ukraine. Besides strategic interest, Ukraine offers enormous opportunities for the European Union. Thank you.